Hey guys, so let's check out this example of elastic collisions. Now remember, elastic collisions are special in that one, kinetic energy is conserved. So K final equals K initial. And two, we can use an extra equation, which is V1 initial plus V1 final equals V2 initial plus V2 final. I want to talk about this equation real quick. Um, we're not actually going to use this. This is conceptual. This is what we're actually going to use as an extra equation. And by the way, the second equation comes from the first equation. This is just a useful version of the first one. Okay, I want to point out something real quick. This is different from this equation because first of all, there are no masses. But the other difference is that here you have initial one, initial two, final one, final two. Here you have initial final, initial final. So here it's one, two, one, two. Here's one, one, two, two. Okay, so it's a little bit different. You've got to figure out a way to remember that. So one, 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 two, one, two, um, one, one, two, two. Okay? Um, okay, so let's do this. Two objects of the same mass undergo an elastic head-on collision. The reason I'm able to use the second equation in addition to the first equation is because it told me here that this is elastic. Head-on just means that they're going towards each other um, like this. They have the same mass. It doesn't tell me what the mass is, so I'm just going to call it M for now. Um, object A from the left, so this has to be A, and therefore this is B, um, has speed of 3, and object B has speed of 4. Remember, opposite directions, opposite signs, plus 3, minus or negative four. Please don't forget the negative four or you're gonna get the wrong answer. Calculate their final velocities, magnitude and direction. Magnitude means the number and direction means positive or negative. Okay, how are we gonna do this? It's a collision conservation momentum. So M1 V1 or in this case MA VA plus MB VB, both initial, MA VA plus MB VB final. I know the masses is three, um, actually I don't know the masses, but they're all M. So what's gonna happen is whenever they're, the two masses are the same, you're gonna be able to cancel it, right? So whether it's M and M, or if it's 10 and 10, whatever, if the numbers are the same, you can always cancel it from this equation. VA initial is right there, plus three. VB initial is minus four. VA final I don't have and we're looking for it and VB final I don't have and, I'm, and we're looking for it. So one reaction here could be well they just didn't give me enough information but they did. Instead of giving one of these two velocities they replace that with the information that this is elastic. So it's a give and take. I tell you the type of collision but then I give you one less um, number for you to be able to solve this problem. Okay. So instead of giving you a number, I told you that it was elastic and you can still solve it. But this is two unknowns with just one equation, which means you can't solve it. All right, what do you do? Well, you need another equation. So the other equation that you're going to use is this one right here. Okay? So you're going to use the equation, the special equation for um, elastic collision. So V1 initial plus V1 final equals V2 initial plus V2 final. By the way, there's a few different versions of this equation. Some of them have like negatives in them and whatnot. Um, I moved things around and I showed to you this way because I think it's the easiest one to remember, but you might see a slightly different version. All right, so let's plug in the numbers here. The initial velocity here, um, the initial velocity of one is plus three. The final velocity of one, I don't have it. And this one is a minus 4, and this one I don't have it. So now that I have two equations, I can actually solve this by combining the two equations. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the numbers and put the variables on the same side. So four, uh, 3 minus 4 is negative 1, VA final plus VB final. There's nothing else I can do here for now. Let's do the same thing here. Let's move this number over here so that I have numbers on the left and letters on the right. So the 4 goes over here, I get a 7 equals, and then this guy goes over here, and then it's going to be a negative. Negative, this is A and B actually, right, A and B. 
negative VAF, positive VBF. Now notice that these two equations have the same basic structure. Number, an A and the B. A number, the A and the B. Okay? So what I can do now is I can move this guy over here and we're going to combine these two equations. And the easiest way to do this is by adding the equations. So let's stack them up on top of each other. You can add equations, remember that? And the way that you add equations is everything to the left, just as a quick reminder, everything to the left of the equal sign gets added. So negative one plus seven is plus six. And everything to the right of the equal sign gets added. So I have VA plus negative VA. So VA plus negative VA just cancels, equals VB plus VB, that's two VB, two VBF, which means VBF is six divided by two, three, positive three. VBF is positive three. Now that I got one of the two velocities, I can simply get that number and plug, plug it into either one of the two um, original equations, okay? Uh, to find VAF. I'm going to plug it into this one here just because that equation, the VA, is already positive. Okay? Let's move this over here. And I have negative 1 equals oops, VAF plus VBF. Negative 1. VBF is 3 over here. It's going to go to the left as a negative 3. VAF, therefore, is negative 4 meters per second, okay? Um, this is positive, so it's going to the right. So B, after the collision, is going to go to the right with 3, and A, after the collision, is going to go to the left with 4, okay? You might have noticed that the numbers flipped. This guy was a 3 ended up with a 4. This guy was a 4 ended up with a 3. That's what happens when you have elastic collisions, but only happens if you have exactly the same mass. The velocities simply flip. Okay? Um, so that's it for this one. Elastic collisions are a little bit more complicated, a little bit more work, because you do have fewer numbers that are going to be given to you, and you do have to use two equations to solve them. you got to use the big equation, the big momentum equation, and you got to use the extra elastic collision equation. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.